Mainly cloudy this afternoon with a chance of showers and high of 24 degrees. It's currently 20 but feeling like 26. I'm Kendra Hamilton. An Egyptian court has sentenced Canadian Mohamed Fami and two other Al Jazeera English journalists to three years in prison. The Minister of State for Foreign Affairs says in a statement that Canada is disappointed over the verdict. She says it severely undermines confidence in the rule of law in Egypt and the government of Canada continues to call on the Egyptian government to send Fami home. In Cairo, Fami's lawyer Amal Clooney told the throngs of reporters the verdict today is a black eye for Egypt. Meanwhile, Thai authorities say they have arrested a foreign man who had been holed up in a suburban apartment with stacks of passports and bomb-making materials. It's the first possible breakthrough in the deadly bombing at a Bangkok shrine nearly two weeks ago. Police and soldiers raided the suspect's apartment at an eastern Bangkok suburb and then announced the arrest on television. In more local news, a male driver and his female passenger are facing charges after the man was caught driving while drunk north of Bancroft. Police say shortly after midnight this morning, they pulled over a vehicle for speeding and driving in an erratic manner along Highway 62. They say when dealing with the male driver, the female passenger became difficult with police and was arrested. Police say the woman continued to be uncooperative and assaulted the officers following her arrest. 31-year-old Michael McCullough of Burlington has been charged with impaired driving and was released with a promise to appear in court October 13th. While 26-year-old Amy Lynch of South Algonquin Township has been charged with resisting a peace officer and assaulting a peace officer. She was released with a promise to appear in court September 29th. A Sterling man is going to jail for 60 days for trying to stab another man outside a Max convenience store at Mill and West Front Streets. 29-year-old Gordon Miracle of Sterling was handed the jail sentence and a 10-year weapons prohibition yesterday. He was also ordered to pay $1,600 restitution to the victim and will be on probation for two years after he's released from custody. A pedestrian has been treated for minor injuries after being struck by a vehicle in Belleville. Police say they responded to the crash at 1045 last night near Walbridge Loyalist Road and Moira Street West. The man who was hit was transported to Belleville General Hospital and treated for minor injuries. He has since been released and no charges are being laid. Meanwhile, a man is facing charges after a domestic assault in Belleville. Police say they were called to a residence in the east end of the city around 1030 last night for a domestic dispute. A 40-year-old man was taken into custody and has been charged with assault and uttering death threats. And on a brighter note, the local residents getting down and dirty in the fight against cancer have been set loose on an intense obstacle course designed by the Canadian military. The second annual Grapes of Wrath Extreme Romp and Stomp Mud Run has kicked off at Hillier Creek Estates Winery in Prince Edward County. The charity event is hosted by the Canadian Cancer Society in partnership with Trenton Memorial Hospital Foundation and Prince Edward County Memorial Hospital Foundation. Over 300 people are participating in the event designed to test strength and stamina in the face of adversity. Participants will traverse over five kilometers of rugged terrain completing 20 obstacles designed and built by Canadian military volunteers and local firefighters. A spokesperson for Trenton Memorial Hospital Foundation says all funds are going toward a great cause. The funds raised support cancer care in our community, so they're supporting both the uh, Cancer Society locally as well as the Prince Edward County Memorial Hospital Foundation and the Trenton Memorial Hospital Foundation who take care of our cancer patients. Closing ceremonies and award presentation are scheduled for 2.30 this afternoon. Turning to sports, the Golden Hawks are getting ready to take on the Dukes in an exhibition matinee this afternoon at Dunk McDonald Memorial Gardens in Trenton. Wellington is coming off a 4-2 victory over Pembroke yesterday at home. Drew Hutchinson returns to the mound this afternoon as the Toronto Blue Jays host the Detroit Tigers. The Jays won the first game in the three-game series against the Tigers yesterday, 5-3. And Canada earned three medals today in the second last day of competition at the World Track and Field Championships in Beijing. The men's 4x100 relay team capped the day off with a dramatic bronze medal after the United States was disqualified. Earlier, decathlete Damian Warner and 800-meter runner Melissa Bishop earned silver medals. Weather is next. Weekend weather is brought to you by Lockyer's Country Gardens. Just around the roundabout in Picton, where quality grows. Mainly cloudy this afternoon with a chance of showers and high of 24 degrees. Tomorrow will be sunny with some clouds in the afternoon and a high of 26. And sunny all day Monday with a high of 29. It's currently 20 degrees but feeling like 26. I'm Kendra Hamilton.